Hey everyone, today I've got a new AI video and animation workflow for you guys, it, namely done by bashing two AI platforms together. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that's my favorite thing to do. Today we'll be using Viggle.ai and Domo. As an FYI, Domo AI is sponsoring today's video, so my thanks to them for doing so. With that, let's dive in and check out what we can do. So this whole workflow is kind of the payoff to Animate Anyone, the white paper that we took a look at way back in December of last year. If you don't remember the actual paper, that's okay. I'm sure that you saw, you know, a thousand articles declaring the death of TikTok dancers. Now the technology behind Animate Anyone is available to all of us via a platform called Viggle.ai. So we'll take a look at what Viggle is really good at, where it kind of lacks, and how you can use Domo in conjunction with it uh, in order to improve your output. So Viggle is in beta right now, and it is on Discord. In order to sign up for it, just go to Viggle.ai and click the Join the Beta button. Once you're in the Discord, you can choose any one of the animate channels to generate within. Starting with the basics, if we issue the command forward slash animate, we will be presented with the ability to upload an image. In this case, we will take our favorite Dutch football player, uh, Daniela van den Ankh, dress as a pirate uh, and bring her in. From there, you will have the option to motion prompt, where obviously you can type in whatever motion that you want to see. Although Viggle does have a number of pre-designed templated prompts at viggle.ai forward slash prompt. The templated prompts are very much in the style of kind of those, you know, TikTok-y kind of dancey things. Uh, although there are some really good, like just standard walk cycles and whatnot in there as well. And I do think that these templates tend to work a little better than just straight prompting. So just to get started, we're gonna grab dollar sign easy, CZ if you will, uh, and bring that in for Daniela. From there, we have the option to choose the background, either white or green or from template. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna do green to give it a nice green screen effect. And then finally, you can turn the fine tuning on or off. Obviously just, you know, just run it with it on. I mean, why would you run it with it off? And after a few moments, we have dancing Daniela. And that is pretty impressive. The character stays consistent consistent and coherent and the motion looks fluid. There isn't a ton of morphing and she's definitely not like sprouting weird arms or anything. Now that said, obviously our resolution and our textures have definitely taken a hit here. And because our reference image didn't have anything beneath the knees, um, we've just sort of got legs uh, down there. And they're a little bit on the dirty side. I'm not judging, she's a pirate. All I'm saying is that pirates did get gout a lot. To get around the leg issue, what you're gonna wanna do is generate up a character in a full body pose. You can do that uh, in mid journey or any other image generator generally by issuing the command uh, character and full body followed by whatever other details you might like. So grabbing an image of this girl who is clearly judging me for having her favorite band in my Spotify playlist. And once again, running the dollar sign easy motion prompt on her, we end up with this in which we now have a full body shot. And the bonus here is that we have her against a green screen, which we can then chroma out. Uh, there are some motion incoherencies in there. You see some jittering. We're gonna solve that in just a second. Bringing that output over to a video editor. In this case, I'm using Premiere. Obviously you can use anything that you want. DaVinci, CapCut, uh, Filmora, they're all great. Um, so, and then just adding a chroma key onto her. So we now have her against a black background. So grabbing a quick image that I generated generated up in mid journey uh, and then bringing that in we now have her comped into a background um, so this is kind of it looks like the beginnings of something yeah that's not bad we're going to put a pin into this and uh, we'll see some improvements on this with Domo in just a little bit. But where I think things get really interesting is when you start using different source material for your inputs. Uh, for example, taking this stock video of this guy practicing karate, uh, clearly a dude that you do not want to steal lunch money from. And then for a reference image using this mid-journey generated image of like hardcore Zangief, we end up with this video, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the motions are all there. It's definitely bootleg Zangief. There is an issue with the kick here. Uh, you can probably see that right about here. Uh, yeah, it just kind of doesn't track. And you will run into some issues depending on the type of shot that you're trying to use as a source. So for example, taking this shot that I cribbed from the upcoming new Fallout TV show, uh, it's a very simple shot just to pan up. But then 
trying to generate this up with this character that I generated in mid journey results in this. And that's just kind of a mess. That said, we've got a good like two and a half some odd seconds at the very tail end that are probably pretty usable. And because Viggle, at least as far as, far as I've seen, doesn't necessarily have a time limit, you could probably input in, you know, a 10 or 15 second long shot that will probably generate enough material for you throughout the course of it that you can definitely use it. So just clipping that, let's take all of the material that we generated here and head over to Domo to see what we can do with it. So Domo is a video stylization platform. We have looked at them in the past before and they are sponsoring today's video. So once again, my thanks to them. One of the Domo models that I've always loved is the GTA Grand Theft Auto model that I, I think it actually has just a super, super cool look, but they've recently updated with a number of other looks as well. They've recently updated their 3D cartoon model. Uh, reference here is clearly Tobey Maguire. Chinese ink painting, which kind of has a really cool stylized look to it. Japanese anime for another animated style. That said, my favorite is still the GTA model. I don't know, there's just something like really, really cool about this one. So Domo is also Discord based. You can get the link to join Discord from domoai.app. Once you're there, you can hit up any one of the generate rooms and by issuing the command backslash video, we can bring in any video source that you want. In this case, we are gonna take our Viggle output. So I'm gonna bring up our dance girl. We'll give it a very simple prompt of just dancing. From there, you'll have a number of different options to stylize it. Uh, in this case, we are going to go with that Chinese ink painting style. And then you'll have options to generate in three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds. I believe 20 seconds is only for uh, paid users. We end up with this, which does look more stable than our initial Viggle output. Here's another generation that I did under the illustrated style. Uh, yes, as a note, the character is not completely consistent. Uh, that's just something that hopefully will be coming soon. And just as a note, even though the green screen color did end up changing over the course of that stylization pass, um, you can still just sort of zap it out. As long as it's one consistent color, it's, it's not that big a deal. So uh, finalizing, yeah, that looks pretty good. And I guess hypothetically, you probably could take this output and then just run it through Domo again for yet another stylized output if you wanted to. Taking our Karate Master Zangief hybrid mashup Viggle output and bringing him over to Domo and then running him with the prompt Viking punching along with the GTA preset yields us this, which I think looks really pretty awesome. But to take our kit bashing just a little bit further, I ended up taking the Viggle output, the one that really freaked out on us, and just kind of clipping the segment that did more or less end up working and running that through Domo. And in an anime style, it did end up getting us this, which is, you know, workable and definitely way better than that Viggle output initially was. So just for fun, I ended up rolling over to Leonardo.ai to generate this background up and then ran that through Leonardo Motion, which got us this. It's got a little bit of a weird breathing thing that it's doing, but you know, it's workable. So removing the green screen from our Domo output and adding in the Leonardo Motion shot as our background plate, we end up with this. Now, granted, that's just like a two second shot shot and it really is just a test but I mean it goes to show that this technique does work and I think that if you put some pre-planning and some forethought into a story that you want to generate uh, definitely all the materials are here to create an animated short if you wanted to and very briefly Domo have also added in their new forward slash move feature as well uh, you can take a look at some of the results here with Domo's move you would issue the command forward slash move along with a video a reference image and then a prompt that said this is like launch day so you are currently only limited to three different styles in which to choose from so uh, we'll go ahead and use the anime 2.0 style uh, generate that out at uh, 10 seconds and see what we get. So with all of this, it's clear that video to video has taken a pretty interesting step forward. Uh, what I'm really curious about is to see how all of you are going to end up sort of kit bashing and tool bashing. In the Domo Discord, in fact, I just saw someone used a um, Adobe Mixamo character and utilizing the new Domo Move feature with uh, this as a reference, uh, ended up coming out with this. Friend of the channel, Uncanny Harry, ended up taking this AI generated character, this AI generated character, and then uh, just using his camera, 
ended up creating a short film starring himself between these two characters. My favorite part being is that for the other character, all he has to do is turn his head, and now we've got the other side of the conversation. So experiment away and bash as many of these platforms together as you possibly can, because I really don't think that there's any limit in terms of the imaginative outputs that you can get. I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.